Hey y'all, hey, I'm Andy here, and today we are filming my Kinder Beauty unboxing for July 2015, only there's no box to take it out of because it arrived while we were away, and on that particular day with monsooning, and the box was soaking wet by the time my mom was able to make it here to check on Fran and get the mail, so she kindly sat everything out on a towel for me to dry off, so I have the items, I've got the card that has seen better days but I don't have the box to show you guys so it is what it is today I am wearing the Medusa's makeup cake wet eyeliner and um, I don't know if it gives you a color name but this is the pink and red combo I did a pink flicked wing and I love it it's not so impactful on screen I feel like at least not on my little viewfinder but in person it's really cool I don't know if this is the lip I'd wear with it, but it's just something I picked out stuff out of the cabinets and felt like playing. So this is the lip we're going with, and we're just going to live with it. Um, but I really like this. It was really easy to work with. It was really fun. The product itself dries down really quickly, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. I just kept wetting my brush. wasn't terrible. I kind of like that it dries down quickly for the sake of sanitary um, stuff so it's not all wet and gross at all times. I feel like that's going to make it last longer but I'm quite happy with my little wings. I think they're so cute so I'm really happy with this product. So let's go ahead and get into what came in the Kinder Beauty box. The first item we have here is from Earth Harbor. It's their Obscura Detoxifying Reset Ampule. So let's open that up. Okay, it's like a black color. So let's read about that. It's a $44 value. Lighten up with this dark as the night detoxifying serum that brightens, prevents breakouts, and clears build up using Bocuccio bamboo charcoal and linoleic acid, the perfect bedtime buddy for your skin. Beauty tip, use this in the evening, apply two or more drops to your skin after cleansing and toning, gently massage in and don't worry, it goes on clear. So you know me, I don't care about anything other than the ingredients, so I'm going to take a look and I'll be right back. So in a wonderful twist of fate, this actually doesn't have terrible ingredients, so I will probably keep this and give this a try and see what I think of it. The next item is from Chill, no. It's from Cuccio Somatology, I think. It's their Chill Cooling Body Scrub with Peppermint, Epsom Salt, and Seaweed Extract. So here's what that looks like. Little tub, like scrubs usually come in. And let's read about that. This is a $34 value, so right away two items and we're already over $70, which is pretty cool. And it's a step into the most refreshing shower you'll take. This cooling body scrub is designed to reinvigorate muscles and energize sun-zapped bodies with Epsom salt, seaweed extract, and peppermint oil. Now, it sounds really nice. I've had kind of cooling body scrubs before, but I just, I feel like, is it really the best thing to be doing to put cooling stuff on the body when you're basically making little micro tears all over it. I don't know. I'm going to use it either way, but I do kind of question that thinking. I'm sure there's thought and science behind it, but I don't know. Just a thought. The next item we have is from Sukin Australian Naturals. Uh, it's the Super Green Detoxifying Biodegradable Sheet Mask. So it's just a sheet mask. Uh, I can already see fragrance is in here, but per usual, I treat these as a fun activity, not as a super strict skincare thing. So I'll definitely be using it. Love that it's biodegradable. That's pretty cool. And uh, I've never heard of this brand, so it's kind of fun to get something new. So according to the card, it's a $5.99 value. Quench your skin's thirst with this biodegradable cotton mask just like a green juice, a blend of parsley, kale, spirulina, and chlorella to detoxify, hydrate, and revitalize. 
The next item is from Moonlit Skin Care, which is where my scrunchie's from. And it looks like it is two just little face cottons. Two little face rounds. They're very soft. Very soft. Um, although, I will say, even though they're very soft, the labels are humongous and kind of in the way. That's maybe not the best thing, but they are quite soft. One side is a pinch rougher, more of a traditional terry cloth, but the other side's really, really soft. And there are two of them. Let's read about these. It says they're a $6 value. Get pampered while being eco-friendly using these soft, reusable bamboo cotton rounds to apply your favorite toner. Maybe suggest the Cruise Azul from this box. Enjoy the softness again and again. Beauty tips, wash with gentle soap and allow to air dry or toss them in the laundry machine along with your delicates. So, um, I actually already have a bunch of little cotton rounds, so I'll just throw these in the pile and they will get washed whenever those get washed because they have a little, um, like mesh baggy. I can put them in to go in the wash machine so that they don't get lost amongst everything or become the little lint catchers. So, I mean, it's nice, but this is something that I feel like anyone who has gone along their uh, eco journey of sorts <laughs> probably already has these and it's just going to be kind of a doubled up item. I'm going to keep them, but this is not something I really needed, nor do I think this is probably something most people need if they're already on like an eco-friendly lifestyle journey. It's probably one of the first things they bought if they're in the beauty, so meh. But I'll definitely be keeping them and using them. And the last item we have here is from Chicky Botanica. It's the Cruz Azul Brightening Toner. Here's what that looks like. And the one on the card looks way darker than the one I have. This is kind of a light periwinkle gray. The one on the card looks really dark, like borderline black purple. So I don't know if there's something wrong or if it just photographed weird, but keep that in mind, I guess. So it says it's a $42 value. So that is a ton of money in this box this month. And the description goes as follows. Blue cools red. It's a universal rule. This blue eucalyptus lavender and peppermint toner is the ultimate antidote for the for aggravated summer skin, giving you a solid detox thanks to strikingly blue butterfly pea flower. Dip in. Beauty tip: apply after cleansing using the bamboo rounds on, in this box. Follow up with serums, moisturizers and for your daytime routine SPF. So I don't even think I need to read the um, ingredients on this because the description says all of it. Eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint. Those are things I don't care for putting on my face personally. So I will probably just be giving this away. I don't know that just because the product is blue, it's gonna do much of anything to offset your redness. I feel like there's way more at play with your skin on a molecular cellular level that a blue product isn't necessarily going to soak in and make you less red. That doesn't feel scientific to me. I don't know. Maybe it is that simple, but it doesn't feel like it is. This is the one product I probably wound up giving away to a friend because it's already just not striking my interest. So with all of that said, there are four products out of the five that I'll be keeping and using, which is not terrible for a box these days. I tend to hate at least two of them, and I didn't. Now, I don't think this is necessarily the most exciting item, but I will use it at least. So at least there's practical applications at play. And I will say, the, while I don't always agree with the cost associated with these products, I think it is way over exaggerated for some of them the value of the assigned costs at least is quite high in this box which is pretty impressive and yeah i would say probably like a b plus an a just because these don't feel that exciting but i will use them always happy to get a scrub i'll always use a scrub and i'm always impressed when an earth harbor product comes and i don't completely hate it because they are a pretty cool brand so yeah b plus a ish 
um, let me know what you guys thought. Did you get this box? This is the detox box. Or did you get the other one? And um, yeah, are you loving Hide Your Beauty right now? How are you feeling? I'm thoroughly in the like range at the moment. But yeah, that's all I have to share with you guys. Check out AmandaPhenomenon.com. Check out my Instagram. Subscribe. Comments and questions down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And otherwise, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.